looked up to watch them form a ghostly chevron, the flashes of white from their exposed chest, blinking like so many eyes. Crossing the street drenched him in fluorescent light, and he quickened his pace till he reached the softer light of the street lamp. Right now we're on the bus because it's pouring rain out in DC. Apparently Dry Majesty and Uniform had a hellish time getting in. Uh, thankfully we got in earlier so we missed a lot of it, but it's raining pretty heavily until it says about midnight or so. So we're at week two now. It already feels like it's been a fucking year. We've had so many sick adventures. Dynamics have been next level. Like everyone is having a great time getting along amazingly. I mean, we've been friends for six years. You know, we're, we're close homies. But this tour especially has just been like, everyone's just, the com camaraderie is next level, for sure. We're all like dancing on stage and everyone in the, uh, the touring party, I feel like is like tight. There's no one who's like an asshole, essentially. We end up getting to the, the cities earlier because of the bus, and so I end up waking up really early at like 7.30 and hit the gym and then find some river or something to do in each city. And normally in a van, you don't get that opportunity because you spend the whole day in the van. And that kind of degrades on your mind and your body a little bit. So this has been much, much better. Walking around Philly, checking out the sights. It's nice and hot out here. The tour's been great. It's been the best tour I've been on by far. The shows have been pretty fucking awesome lately. Like the biggest rooms we're playing on this tour. Pretty stoked for Brooklyn coming up. Been pretty sober this whole tour, which is a new thing for me. So I wake up early, just have like great days, adventures, see the cities. So I think that has a whole lot to do with why it's been so good. Philly fucking goes wild. Shit's gonna be insane. Especially Union Transfer. Last time we played, it was just fucking epic. And then next is Brooklyn, which back to back, and then Boston, just nonstop. How's was your drive? That was great, man. Yeah? What'd you I guys do? What'd you see? We saw all these signs for 
Shoot machine real gun. machine guns. Look machine guns are real. Fun for the whole fam. Look at this girl. She's probably 11 years old. <laughs> no, the tour's been awesome. It's like the smoothest tour I've ever been on, I think, in my life. Everyone gets along, like, suspiciously well, and the shows have been insane. The way Death Heaven tours, the way we've always toured, when it comes to headlining, is we pick the bands that we go out with. I consider the bands we take on tour to be an extension of ourselves, an extension of our tastes, and I think that it's important for our audience to see the kind of music that we're into, and hopefully that adds to the context of, of what, what it is that we're doing. We picked Dread because we've known uh, Andrew for so long, and that band is so good. And then we, we picked Uniform just because it, it, they kind of like came out of nowhere, and we heard them and it was just like, it's kind of like, damn, this is sick. With, with Drab, it's like a very like, like weirdo, Duran duran kind of vibe. And then with Uniform, it's very like hateful, dark, turned up kind of vibe. And putting those two things together with us, I think it makes it kind of a weird bill. I like it. Uniform kind of, in my opinion, splits the difference between Drab style and Deaf Heaven style. And overall, it creates a really cool flow. And, and I think the show's really interesting for it. Everyone I've seen has been super down. I think there's been a few people who like leave after drab, like sometimes. And uniform is going over like people are I think I think are either usually just like, my God, with uniform, or they're like, like, damn, this is hard. So it's either like shock and awe or like this slaps. And I think both are good <laughs> responses. <laughs> damn. It's gonna slap. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, Oh, that's it. Go that way. Yeah, this record honestly has been my favorite one to write and work on. It just seemed fresh and like we were ready to write something positive and good. Immediately when you have these pent up riffs, they just like came out into this beautiful way. Yeah, the whole process was just really smooth enjoyable and not stressful, which is kind of what we dealt with before. It was like deadlines and rushing shit and just, you know, kind of second guessing ourselves and if anything, holding back on what we fully wanted to do with the record because, you know, we didn't have time. So this time we have like all, all the time in the world to flesh stuff out and, and achieve everything that we wanted to. You know, we definitely didn't pull any punches on this. Like, you know, we didn't have any qualms with what people were going to think about it. That was not anywhere near our headspace when we were writing. We just did it organically, had hella fun, and just enjoyed ourselves. I do think that we, you can hear the positivity in the new record for sure. The last two records were written in like really dark places. For me, for my personal aspect, there's like a lot of drugs and not like fun ones. And that shit kills your creativity, dude. And it doesn't help with stress, it doesn't relieve any of that kind of shit. And so when we, we did this one, it was like a lot, a lot noticeably happier, healthier, and more fun. More than ever, it's been more open to creative ideas. We seem more positive and more open to like taking 
music further. Me and Carrie seemed to be really clicking on that, and Dan's new beats were just, you know, pushing it even further. Shiv is just like next level on this record, dude. Like his leads are so sick. They make every song. Like, I think his personality shines more on this record than any past record by far. You know, we weren't like deliberately like, let's do this and let's do that. It was kind of like, these are the songs. This is how everyone's kind of feeling right now. They're just sort of more more open and less like oppressively heavy. Sunbather and then New Bermuda, it's like this band is ramping up to be this like brutally heavy thing, kind of. And then instead it was just sort of like, eh, no, we're actually all in good moods now. Like, here's this, you know, here's something different, I guess, you know. The way everything was done is brighter. It feels more positive. We wanted to really just reflect what it is that we were into. And I feel like when I hear the record, I can hear everyone's different personalities come together. And But ultimately, what I'm trying to get across is a message of, you know, togetherness and, and, and unity. And, and when I look out into the audience and, and what I hope the audience sees when they look onto the stage is this feeling of togetherness and this feeling of wholeness. And New, New Bermuda lack that a little bit, and I'm, I'm glad we have that back. A lot of people like started taking better care of themselves and we all just kind of like realized that we're like down with what we do. Music kind of reflects where your mind is and what you know what you're feeling so I think we were just in a better place mentally and I think that has a huge difference on this record. For me personally just remembering like who who I really am I think that really helped. I think just realizing just like you know, there's like a little kid in me that likes playing music and that, that kid came out. <laughs>